how do we find the perimeter of a semicircle? We'll go over how to do this using the diameter of a semicircle and using the radius of a semicircle. For this semicircle, we know its diameter is eight meters. We want to find its perimeter, that's the distance around the semicircle. We know a lot about normal circles, so we want to use that knowledge to figure out what the perimeter is of a semicircle. Here is a standard circle. We've got a diameter drawn here in yellow. So what parts of this circle make up the perimeter of our semicircle? Well, one part is this here, which is half of the circumference of the whole circle. The circumference of a circle is equal to pi multiplied by the diameter. So if we want to call the perimeter of our semicircle p, for starters, we need to take half of the circumference of the whole circle. So pi times d, that's the circumference, and divide that by two. We've got half of the circumference in our semicircle's perimeter. The only other part of the perimeter is right here, which is a diameter of the circle. So that's it. We just have to add on the diameter. All right, easy enough. So to find the perimeter of a semicircle with diameter d, we just take half of the circumference of a circle with diameter d, that's pi times d over two, and then add the diameter, so plus d. So with that knowledge, let's go ahead and calculate the perimeter of this semicircle. It's going to be pi times d, so pi times eight meters, divided by two, and then plus the diameter, so plus another eight meters. Eight over two is four, so this is four pi meters plus eight meters. So that's four pi plus eight meters. So that is our exact answer. That is the perimeter of this semicircle. If we want to approximate it to the nearest hundredth, that would be about 20.57 meters. And remember, we don't really have to use the units in our calculation. We can just put them on at the end when we get the number of our answer. That's because we're dealing with a distance in meters and we're using it to calculate another distance in meters. So we know our final answer is going to be in meters. We don't really have to worry about the units during the calculation. Like with our next problem, we're given that the radius is five feet, so we're using a measure of length in feet, and we're gonna use that to calculate another measure of length, which will also be in feet. We know our final answer is gonna be in feet. We don't have to worry about the units during the calculation. And again, to find the perimeter of this semicircle, we can use this same formula. We just have to take half of the circumference of the full circle, because that's what we've got on our perimeter, but then then we've also got a diameter we need to add as well. Of course, we're not immediately given the diameter. We have the radius, but the diameter is just two times the radius. So we could easily say that the diameter is two times five feet. So of course it is 10 feet. So then we could plug that into our formula with the diameter. Or if we wanted to, we could rewrite this formula in terms of radius so that the perimeter of a semicircle would be pi times the diameter, which in terms of radius is two times the radius. So pi times two r divided by two plus the diameter, which again is two times the radius. That's actually kind of nice because then these twos cancel out. So we're just left with pi times r plus two r. So that's pi r plus 2r. And then if you wanted to factor out an r from both of these terms, we'd have that the perimeter of our semicircle in terms of the radius is r times 2 plus pi. That's kind of neat looking. But again, that was completely unnecessary to do. We could have just used this formula with our calculated diameter. But if we go ahead and try using our radius formula, we get that the perimeter of our semicircle is the radius five times two plus pi. And then if we want to distribute the five, we have five times two, which is 10 plus five times pi, so five pi. And we know that this should be in feet. So that could be our exact answer, 10 plus five pi feet. 
that is the distance around a semicircle with radius 5 feet. And if we want to round this to the nearest hundredth, that is approximately 25.71 feet. If we had used our diameter and the original diameter formula, we would have got 10 times pi over 2, which would be 5 pi, plus that diameter of 10, plus 10. So you can see we would have got the same thing. And that's how you calculate the perimeter, the distance around a semicircle from the diameter or from the radius. We just have to take half of the circumference of a whole circle with the given diameter or radius and then add the given diameter or add two times the given radius. Oh,